So today I'd like to introduce you guys to what I believe will be one of the most useful, well-rounded, all-purpose software that every small indie studio or creative team should have under their belt. Whether you're a writer who needs to storyboard your ideas, a YouTuber who just needs thumbnails, an illustrator who just needs stock image backgrounds, game developer needing 2D images or texture maps, a casual hobby artist, or even a professional designer, Firefly is applicable to all of that. And best of all, it's lightning fast, super simple, super intuitive, and affordable. It's about $5 a month to get access, or if you already have Photoshop, it's included by default. Which basically means from this moment onwards, every Photoshop user on the planet is already using AI generative software tools. Now, believe it or not, no, this video is not sponsored by Adobe, but if it gets enough likes, maybe it could be. Regardless, I'm just a really big fan of the software's capabilities, which we will go over in the next few videos, but for today, I just wanted to tell you guys why out of all the new generative software, Firefly is the one that I've decided to build my official workflow pipeline around. The first reason is because the database used to train Firefly is exclusively formed from Adobe's own personal stock openly licensed content and or public domain content where the copyright has expired. So unlike other databases which were initially formed by scrapping random things on the internet, Firefly was formed within Adobe's own collection of images and public domain data itself, which is huge. Because when you talk to most people who are against AI and ask them why, their number one reason is because they say it's stealing from artists. Now, just assuming that was true, my next question is usually, okay, so would you be all right with an AI that was created from a database that didn't steal from artists? And usually when you ask that question, most people are like, oh yeah, that would be fine. Well, here we are. Firefly is an AI generative model trained explicitly on images that Adobe either owns directly, has the rights to, or are in publicly or expired domain. And if you don't believe that Adobe, of all people, legally owns enough image to train their own database, then I don't know what to tell you. That's like trying to believe that McDonald's doesn't own enough potatoes to make fries. So the whole AI is stealing stuff argument is now basically out the window. Adobe takes extreme precautions to make sure that its database stays clean because it's actually very difficult to give Adobe new images to train its data on. Even if I wanted to give Adobe my artwork to add to its engine and add to its stylistic abilities, I actually can't do that. So if you see people talking about how people using Photoshop and Firefly are stealing from artists, then you can pretty safely assume that these people are probably just misinformed and just move on with your life because that's not how it works. The Firefly database is extremely picky. And the second reason that I have picked Firefly as my official model is because when you sign up for Firefly, you get full commercial rights to use and sell your artworks, no questions asked. If you generate something cool or useful, or maybe you're working for a client, you can rest assured that you have every right to sell and provide legal services both for fun and commercially with Firefly. And best of all, Firefly is going to be implemented not just just to Photoshop, but across all Adobe software like Premiere, After Effects, Illustrator, the whole suite. So once you learn how to use Firefly in one software, you basically learn how to use it in all the others, which makes it super convenient to pick up and easy to work with across different software. So I'm super excited to show you what I've figured out on Firefly. I hope you guys are too. And again, if you are an artist or a creator of any type, join the Discord and show us a screenshot of what you're working on each day. I'd love to see what you guys are up to. And it's also a great way for us to leave likes and support each other on the journey to make cool stuff in the world. Thanks for watching, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.